They will all go work on the sugarcane plantations. They will be my personal slaves. Can we focus on the real reason we're gathered here today? The foundation of Sao Paulo, Piratininga. Only a coward to Pini came to surrender like this. Giving away your people, your lands, your ancestral culture. In exchange for what? Tupa is watching. Shut your mouth, loser. Who is the one chained this way? And Kunambebe will be the next. Ah! <laughs> Stay back, beast! Yes. Get the way. Is that really necessary? This deplorable spectacle is ruining the prosperous foundations of this village. But I need to make an exemplary punishment of this. Of course, Don Ramalho, but this can wait until after the foundation mess. God wouldn't want this barbarous present in such a holy event. Show us your faith in Christ, Ramalho. I cannot think on an empty stomach. Tibirisa, can you bring the wine, the bread, and the cheese? Right away, Father Chinta. Fair enough. I will take the food and drink first. Hans, get the prisoners out of here. Yes, don't know. Oh, and Hans, I have an assignment for you. What? I thought after this job I could go back to Hamburg. No bugs are in it! I pay you good money, and you're not going anywhere without my clearance. Hamburg can wait. You're going to Bertioga to defend our fortress there. You work for me, for the governor, for the Portuguese crown. Understood? Can I please take part in the foundation ceremony? Oh! Put the prisoners away and depart immediately! We cannot risk losing this fortress! Get out of here, no! Ha! <laughs> Finally! Give me some time. Come on, priest. Rosie. People of faith. Missionaries and adventurers, natives and others. We are gathered today under the right moon and following a thoroughly designed astrological map to create the city that will lead in the state of Brazil. In the name of our the name of our king and sovereign of the Portuguese Empire, and by the power conceived by our merciful Pope, the head of the Roman Catholic Apostolic Church, we declare here and now the creation of Saint Paul. Amen. Paulita, we are not led, we lead. Let's make a toast for the triumph of civilization over barbarity. Ha ha ha! you could be a bad escape the run into the jungle. Impossible, let go! Who was that? That was Bandira, the most beautiful Tupiniki in Piritininga. She will be mine. God, you have mercy on our souls. <laughs> Why are we here anyway? I would much rather be back in the village in Ubatuba. Don't be ridiculous, Coyambe. I need an escort, and I thought you should be the one coming with me. Besides, one day you'll be chief. Who says I want to be chief? Don't be ridiculous and impertinent. Always. I don't trust the Mayu. Well, I don't trust anyone, son. I would just prefer to eat those pale people along with the two many kids. <laughs> but times are changing. Back in the day, we were tupis against tupis. Simple. Then the invaders came, the Peros, the Mair, with their strange, sophisticated weapons. 
We have to adapt and fight. What makes you think that Mair are better than Peros? Mair are afraid of us. <laughs> For now, they're only interested in Brazil with you. And they need our protection. Peros want us to be slaves. And they are allies who are our enemies. Remember that. Once they finish with the with our enemies, they're coming after us. Why? It is. Why? Look, I have a mortal hate against the Tupi Kings, and so my parents, my grandparents, and their parents and grandparents too. It was like that since the dawn of times. Our strength comes from all the Tupi Kings we have to bow It is okay. such an immense honor to finally meet you, Chief Quinnelman. Oh, your band is legendary, and you're taller than I expected. Here's nothing but talk. A battle is upon us. We need warriors, not merchants. I come here by you representing the great captain Villeneuve, founder of Antarctic France. This is an open bay. Very easy to attack from land and sea. If you don't protect it properly, it won't last long. We want to build a brand new city in this new world. River of January. A place where anyone can live, work, and profess their cradle. Protestants, Jews, Muslims, they all shall find a refuge in the Antarctic France. The old Europe cannot be fixed and tended by centuries of fraternal wars. But here in the new world, my friend, we have the fresh beginning. A place of free trade and religious freedom. The dark Middle Ages are coming to an end. Thankfully, a new age is coming about, the modern age. The Pope will give enough room to absolute monarchs. Feudalism will be replaced by the capitalism. You like Brazil, Wood, and we have plenty here. We accept the Maia as long as you don't try to enslave us. If we do, we will eat you. Peros don't respect the land. They make the Tupi slaves work on agriculture, planting sugarcane, making white sweet powder. The earth perishes, and so will we. Why are you not, my friend, Queen of If cannibalism is part of your religious practice, then you can rest assured that it will be respected in Antarctic France. <coughs> These invaders come here with their cherry and their sweet talking. Don't listen to them. Words just echo in the air. Stay out of it, Koyambe. You don't know what they're saying. It is you who is too arrogant to see what's really going on here. Once the Ma'ir have beaten the Peros, who do you think they're going to come after? Quiet! I don't need the omens of a boy who does nothing but complain. The young Tupimamba certainly has the family love. Hmm. I have no respect for tree killers. I'm losing my patience here. We transform the trees. There are so many here. Don't be so selfish, young queen man. They will be carried to the old world and used to buy the finest clothes in France, England, Spain, and Austria. And what happens when the trees finish? <gasps> Don't be so silly. The trees are infinite. Oh, if you only saw how this red cardinal color for your precious wood, suits the finest churches and palaces in Europe. Only La Canva can afford it, naturally. The only red you're going to see is the blood of the dead Mair in the Guanabara Bay. Enough. Once the Peros and their allies come here, enough! I'll you. Enough! I said enough! Get out of here! You don't have to see it twice! I'm on my way. You, Queen and Betty. You're digging your own grave. Pardon me for my son's influence. Not at all. I know how you feel. I've got 11 children myself. The young generations always define the old ones. Let's proceed.
Because the day I decided to embark on a ship to India and ended up in the shores of this beautiful, dangerous land. Who Indians? They are not real Indians. They are irreducible fighters with their arches and bows. They're nice and other sophisticated weapons. Sophisticated for the means they possess. We might have guns, but they... They hide in the forest like no other. They are part of the jungle. How can we defeat them? In the great scheme of things, if this is the contest of divinities and metaphysical forces, what if they are right? What if their gods are more powerful here than you? My god. The Christian god. Shame on me for even considering such a heresy and speaking it out loud. I should be damned for all eternity. The Indians are fierce cannibals who eat human flesh. Will this be the end? Who's there? A shot! There's no point in running. Where to? They would hunt us down and kill us anyway. Even more vicious. God. Oh God, you know my deeds and misdeeds. All the mistakes I made back in Europe. But I've already paid for those crimes. Faithful in my ship to wreck in the coast of Terra Brazil. Cast away in the mercenary. Working for the worst kinds of human imbecile. Now what do we come back? Now what do we come back? Here in Pindorama, I'm surround. Go surround. Yesterday's prisoners became today's captives. But the other is a to be a ballad. The Pedal have no say here. All you bring is pain, diseases, and destruction. The nature is stronger. And we are stronger, because we are nature. We live with her and for her. As long as there are beings and spirits fighting for her, you shall never pass. <laughs> Let's go! Nambai you were born, Nambai you shall ever be. What a bore! I know nothing anymore. Who I am, why I am. I know I have to fight, I know I have enemies. But nobody tells me why do we hate each other so much? We fight, we kill, we poison, we get hurt, we eat each other singing and dancing in a primitive primordial revenge. I like flesh, human flesh. I like the party, the ritual, the bacchanal. Mmm, the smell of fat burning in the fire, dripping. The whole tribe singing and dancing, going absolutely insane, eating little fingers, guts, Ears, eyes, it's delicious. But cultural acceptance doesn't dissipate my dilemma. Hence my doubts. This is my life, my story. I am. Tupinamba! Yes, I am! What are you doing here? This is Tupini Kim Domain, I'm going to kill you. Pero Domain, you mean? Mm. Shut up! Shame on you! You gave every 
everything away, even your soul. The real observers are the Tupinam bus, always looking down on us, thinking you're the only authentic stupid, a bunch of intolerance. Hmm, you're gonna kill me? Not if I kill you first? Yes, I am the son of Queen Ambevi. <laughs> you skinny little thing are not a match for me. I am Bantira, daughter of Sidirisa. Traitor of his people. Protector of his people. <laughs> and your father, cruel and intrinsic, a real monster he is. Everybody should just look on that because you are evil, horrible creatures. And now with the money you don't come lecturing me, my father fights for his people. We found it a village. Do you really believe that? I believe you're not better than us. They're not so different. No way. We are the same, you and I. Pero is my hero, the same trash. Yes, I agree. And the Jesuits, even you know, worse. They're too smart to symbolize Let's go then, they'll fight you. <laughs> I never thought I would say this, but I. Respect you, to be the king. Thank you very much. Respect is earned, cultivated, and sacred. When in war there is respect, common rules and values. The barbarians and the Europeans. <coughs> are you crying? What kind of a warrior are you? The name is Poyam Beck. Partida. You are a disgrace to your tribe. Stand up and face me. Kill me now or talk to me. Not a chance. There's always a chance. I will fight the Tupinambas until the end and you will do the same with the Tupin kings. Why? Why can there be hope? A different ending? We are tied to our fate. A tribe, there's no place for doubts or utopias. But there is. Look at this unexpected encounter. Battles are unavoidable, and sacrifices are necessary. And yet, you haven't killed me. So there is hope in the hidden memories. There is no hope, only badly told stories. Your simplicity is no measure. Your exaggeration is no boundaries. I am a dreamer. You're too naive. I'm not going to kill you. Not today. Tomorrow, who knows? Things are getting harder and harder in Kiritaninga. Nobody listens to me. My father is forcing me to marry a horrible man. Disgusting Portuguese. I'm sorry. Don't be. We're not friends. This war will never end. Will it not? You know, I haven't. I haven't actually spoken to someone in my own language in the same understanding for too long. Can you be able to feel that? Can you be able to feel that? Kunam Bevi, my friend. Coming from a bright mission in Bergilga, bringing with me two better prisoners. 
Who are the friends? to the Mayan. Excellent. The tribe is starving. There's more. The Mayan has good information. I saw in Piratininga. He works for Joao Ramalho. We can use that. Bring the Mayan prisoner and let the festivities begin. Are you with the enemies? Yes, Rich. My name is Axwan. I came with the Portuguese, but I am not one of them. I am not your enemy. I found that it. So you are still alive. That you are a man of great virtues. Oh. Oh. You want to live? Tell me. What are the Tupini kings planning? The Tupini chief Tsibirisa has forget the strategic alliance with the Portuguese to defeat and expel all the French from Kunaban and enslave you, the Tupinamba. I am aware of that, Dr. Tsibirisa. <laughs> I heard you good with weapons. And tell me, why were you shooting at us with the perros? The perros gave me this position, and I had to obey. But I am my We have my allies who are coming to the strike. They can verify if you're telling the truth or not. I am chief. I left my hometown a long time ago, and I became a mercenary. But that doesn't make me a perro. I hate them as much as you do. Once, I captured five federal prisoners and ate them. They were suppressing all sorts of lies to save their pale skins. They said they were my ears. <laughs> Don't try to fool me. You'll be our dinner. I have fallen in prison, and these ferocious natives shall devour me! Is it true what they say about me? That just hearing my name terrifies them? In this you go on, but your name is quoted frequently with fear and despise. They think you are a devil, and they praise your abilities in the battle. But the two pinnacles are learning from politics, and they are sending reinforcements. Fools. They will be defeated again and again, imprisoned and devoured in our feasts, just like you. Your real enemies, the two Pinnikins, are planning an attack here on your domain in Ubatuba. Well, well, now you're making yourself useful. <laughs> I'm ready. The Maya Hans will be spared tonight. Bring the other prisoner.
I kill. You die. I kill. You die. I kill. You die. I kill. You die. much time for this. She's just finishing up the radio. Here, Bunny. 
I hate waiting. Nobody makes me wait. Let's bring out some Indian woman. Why such a hurry? Well, as usual, the real men are doing all the work. While the clergies run around playing schooling with the Indians. Fill my glass with wine and I'll fill you in. Making yourself useful, Manuel. Because you're so busy trying to be nice to these people, you forget we're at war with the French and their cannibal allies. I'm so glad the governor put me in charge instead of you, or we'd all be dessert for the Tupinambas. So, Stop being a pain in my ass. Be thankful. And when the girl rides, marry us quickly. So I may have time for a quickie before departing for what? Understood? Certainly, Donna Mario. It's gonna be a very brief ceremony, but we still need to do it. Under the Lord died and following the words of the Holy Bible. Otherwise, what would differentiate them from us? The lovely bride is here, and most beautiful than ever. It is time for this blessed, lovely, and consecrated. Come on, Obrega. That's your cue. Anyone's against this marriage, speak now or stay silent forever. Well, the power invested in me by God and the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you to husband and wife until death turns you apart. The ship is sailing, and you're coming too. Tibirisa, gather all the men and youthful women, weapons, slaves, ammunition, and we depart for River of January. <laughs> Why? Our honeymoon has just begun. And it's war time. <laughs> Welcome, welcome all, some friends I know and respect, brothers, sisters, and distant cousins to Pinambas who have come here today, Tuba Tuba, from all over Pindorama motherland. Welcome to you too. To our last minute allies, well-intended foreigners, I also salute your presence here, thus the enemies of my enemies are my friends. We are here for a very clear reason. To defend our Tavoyo nation from the Portuguese invaders and their infamous allies, the Tupini Kings! <laughs> that is why I sunk you here! We must stand united and defend this nation from those who threaten us and seek to enslave us! <laughs> Only together we can defend our Pindorama and we'll make a gigantic feast with all the war prisoners! <laughs> But the finest Surato and Goro that you can imagine! Congratulations! Another great farce orchestrated by Chief Kunyambedi. Kurumi, respect your father. This is not the time for play. It's okay, Amire. Let the Kunumin humiliate himself in front of everyone. I raised him to become a great warrior, but he prefers to utter nonsense. Look at this reunion. Confederation. Fool's convention. Doesn't anybody here notice the obvious? 
Pingorama is to pee. It's not Peró. It's not Mair. Opportunists. Watch your tongue. Look at them. Look at us. Look at the Tupini king. Who is more similar to whom? This congregation should be a union of all tribes against the invaders. This is outrageous, chief. My son is clearly drunk and should leave. I've never been more lucid my entire life. It is you, father, who doesn't get it. This stupid and blind revenge against the Tupini king is a huge mistake for all of us. Mm. The Tupini kings and the Tupini ambas. Like day and night. Opposites. They need each other to exist. They can't be together at the same time under the same sky. This is what you taught us. And I ain't buying anymore. Europeans in the old world kept fighting against each other for centuries. They have exhausted their natural resources and now they come here to steal from us with our carnivores? We are idiots! Now you're crossing all the lines, boy. If he doesn't leave, I will. Say, Andre. Boy, I'm back. Boy, I'm back. This is your last chance. Which side are you on? To be number or traitor. I will not abandon my people because I have values and dignity. I am loyal to this tribe, even, even if we're heading towards a cliff. I am ready to give my life for a lost cause if necessary. But my voice will be heard today and for a long time. The voice of a young man who dreamt that another world was possible. Another reality beyond the old divisions and prejudices. I stand and I fight with the Tupinamba. Enough with the craziness. Let's fight for Pinorama! Yeah! <laughs> 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 Ah! 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 Ah!
don't you do this to me? You're mine. Nobody steals from drugs and murder. Not demon God! How dare you, Bartira? ideas, you'd have paid more attention to the battle, wouldn't have fallen. Not into pretty kings. Had she be beside my sight, I was about to finish that bastard. The pedos, tricksters, with the firearms coming from behind, assassins, cowards, leeches. I would have. My revenge. I will gather all of Pindorama to have my revenge. Blood! I will eat them all one. One by one, I swear! Good up, baby! Cut it out! Strobin! Arrogant! What the fuck? Your son, take this life for yours. You should be here now. Not me. Remember that. That bullet was for you. You dismissed him. He sacrificed himself for the whole tribe. Maybe. Maybe you should learn something out of all this tragedy. Less hate, more compassion. I couldn't agree more. Finally, a voice of sense and reason. What are you doing here? What is he doing here? We came in peace to talk. Assassin! Tyler! Coward! Psychopath! Bandit! Our 
our death message for accident worse than the colonial blindness of the faith faith. My ear and the fiddle of the king, they are superiors in nature. We ignored the youth and their claims. We wanted to defend the honor of our predecessors so badly that we overlooked our successors. The future was silenced. Now it's gone. The past haunts us and it shall remain so. There is still time. We both lost too much. Give this a chance. The peace of Ibero Iggy. One day, this will be remembered as the first peace treaties in the Americas. Thanks to your leadership and generosity, you will be remembered as heroes and visionaries. Kingdom Beck's memory. Accepted. May you prevail over our Pindorama. Amen. And may they take the prisoner to his temple. Sweat's running my front. My flesh burns. This flesh, so many fleshes, has devoured. It was in flames. Just like Hoki Nova. And today, old friend, kill me. No. I must not end up in Rama. Save, save your strength. This disease is new. A plague brought by the Pedos. There's no cure. Her the bomb. Are you frightening? No! More... Absolutely not! I don't want more of our brothers and sisters dying for this disease. I am still leader of the Tamoyos. Tamoyos Confederation. It's over. The truth with the Jesuits. It don't last long. Peace was a fraud. They fooled us. And we lost. Oh. 
unbelievable. I will die defeated, alone and betrayed. I will to Pinikin's mockers and celebrate the victory. They don't have much to celebrate. Every day, there's less and less pretty peace. There's being slaved and pacified by the invaders. Losing their culture and language absorbed by the colonizers. And the Mail? Antarctic France has fallen. And with it, all the utopian dreams. This is the end. Mine. Ours. Going back as well. Bring me Hans. Why did you come to Apindorama? I was just an entrepreneur, trying to make a living. The Portuguese paid well, so I joined them. My God, who wanted me to end up here and put me through all sorts of myth, all sorts of myth. I know you're a man of faith and a virtuous warrior. You were going to be eaten, but ended up becoming one of us. Out of salvation or conviction, it doesn't matter. You fought with us, you fought well. Have you learned anything? At first, I was terrified with your ways, and especially your cannibalistic habits. I don't want to be eaten, and I don't want to eat other humans' flesh. I still don't. But I've learned about your culture, and almost understand it. I came to terms with my faith, and if that faith to be eaten, so be it. <laughs> Everything I am, Hans, matter dissolves, energy disperses, and life renews itself. Gold, property, jewelry, they're all ephemeral. Remember that the real value of things are not tangible. To be keen to seduce by greed. You were doing business with the French. I did. Now I'm paying for it. Tried to adapt to the circumstances and failed. Failed myself. My son. My tribe. My motherland. Why are you telling me all this? I'm setting you free, huh? Back to your old world. Fight for it. For your people. Tell them our story. Your story? 
that you caught me and kept prisoner just to eat me like a chicken. That you were a vicious cannibal. <laughs> Tell it as you wish, as far as you can. Tell it. Memory is the only weapon left against absolute oblivion. All our story, but be honest. There is no resistance without existence. Try to protect your legacy. Engrave your name in history. I am not a storyteller. All storytellers are. Cultural gods. Promise me. How do you know that I will keep my word? Your God and our gods will know if you kept your promise or not. Adios. Dorama was mother, source of life and nest of death, and an endless circle where me, my descendants, my ancestors, and even my enemies were an essential part, but not the whole. We didn't impose ourselves over nature. We lived happily and free without guilt or shame. We fought for fun, revenge, and honor in an endless circle. Theater of war and religion, but always in balance without being alone. We were here first. The invaders came from far away with their illnesses, vessels, and rudeness. So only interested in gold, silver, and profit making at any cost. They have murdered us. Stolen our land. Our suffering was for their comfort. They mocked our beliefs, our wisdom, and our customs. They even accused us of being barbarians. Teja Brasilis was forged in violence, sophisticated cruelty moral corruption, and institutional hypocrisy. This is the original sin that will haunt this nation for centuries to come. This is the real betrayal. This is a curse set by those who thought they were superior to anything else, those who lied viciously and destroyed countless lives. A curse that will remain until we realize who we are where we come from, and where we're we heading to. I may die today. shadows of our fight will remain resisting as we are 
will always be.